the salute! DJ, none for you! Welcome back, I'm Captain Xavier, and today I'm going to be installing a half dart kit into my sling fire. I really like this sling fire. It currently hits about 80 FPS, <clears throat> uh, shooting full darts with whatever internals I currently have in it, which I'm not even sure what's in here anymore, um, and this long barrel. But I really like the long barrel. Don't ask me where it came from. It showed up in the mail one day. Um, but the, the it, you know, I like the, the Winchester-y look of it. You know, it's kind of Winchester-y looking if you squint and ignore the colors and the whole section here. Um, but the, the Winchester fires a 45 long colt, and that's more of a half dart caliber. So I'm going to put this half dart kit in and see if it actually improves it any, or if it gets worse, or if it works at all, or what have you. So let's have some fun with this. Well, that all fits in nicely. A newer, heavier spring, that's nice. I'll keep the old one to put into some other poor sling fire that is not up to par. All right, got the old um, bolt out. Hammering out that pin using a center punch. Now we need to in Install the new one. Now, one thing we are going to need is some lubricant. Put that pin back in. So there's definitely some dremeling that needs to happen to the shell. This piece, the... Uh, I'm not sure what this piece would be called. Actually. Where the dart tooth normally is. Um, <clears throat> it's obviously not was not specifically designed for the sling fire. It was, it's been ground or sanded or dremeled already in order to make it vaguely fit, and it doesn't quite fit. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of dremel work in order to get it to properly fit. Doesn't look like it's gonna need much, and it doesn't look like I'm losing anything structural. So, we're going to have at it. I ended up taking out the trigger lock because that was causing me grief. Um, and obviously the dart tooth and all of that's been removed. A bit of dremeling was necessary both on the inside, the front end, to get the uh, this part, the dart tooth area, to fit, as well as I had to dremel a little bit off of this kit in order to get it to fit since it wasn't designed to interact with that. Doesn't look like it's going to interfere with the nut or bolt that holds that in place. At least I hope not. Nope, it won't. Okay, good. All right, let's find a half dart and see if it will in fact load from one of these magazines. This is a worker magazine, so you would hope it would work, but you never know. It does! All right, let me reload and chrono. All right, well, I am very pleasantly surprised and impressed. Uh, with half darts, this is now hitting between uh, 110 and 120. Highest I got was 125 and a low of 105. Uh, but that is way better than I ever expected this kit to get. Um, I am very impressed and pleased. One thing I do still need to replace is I want to replace the, the lever with a 3D printed one that I have, uh, that I was given the, uh, the files for. And I've printed it, I've just never got around to installing it. It has uses a metal bar uh, between uh, a solid gear and uh, a larger 
handle and I definitely want to get that installed probably next uh, unfortunately it's too late for me to get to the store and buy the metal rod that I would need and I'm pretty sure I don't have any of the right size so um, but it was fairly easy to install there was a little bit of drumming up front that had to be done um, but the rest of the kit dropped in fairly well and even with this long barrel hitting 125 is incredibly impressive. So it's working with these magazines, the ones with the lip a little bit further forward. I don't know that it would work with ones that weren't that far forward. I, I really don't think it would. Um, and I'm not sure the, the six round ones that I have, I don't know that they are. I'm going to check it with a katana mag and mag adapter. I've heard it doesn't work. Ah, no, it doesn't. The magazine will go in and out, but it doesn't go back far enough to actually feed. So, that's a bummer. But this one does work. You'd need um, an adapter that holds it further forward, which they do exist. Um, or, yeah, that's, that's the problem. Um, I, I, like I said, I have some six round half dart magazines around here somewhere and I don't know. I want to say they were more centered, but possibly not. If nothing else, this one works just fine. Beautiful. Simply beautiful. All right. Well, I am very pleased with this. I might actually, well, they don't allow, if they allowed half darts at Afterworlds, I'd be very tempted to field this, but I'm pretty sure they don't want to introduce another random ammo type to confuse people. So, unfortunately, this one won't be used there, but um, I would be perfectly happily using this at uh, our standard Nerf Wars now, just because I really like the look of it, I like the feel of it, um, and that is perfectly acceptable performance. Um, I might look into putting in one of the worker scar barrels because I think it would fit inside this barrel and I could I could push that all the way down to the uh, down in there maybe maybe not I don't know I think that would slow it down a bit much and I like 120 120 is a good number for this so yeah i like it thank you so much for sending it links to it will be down in the description and if you have any questions comments concerns suggestions go ahead and put them in the comment section and as always thank you guys for watching